Sampola, my name is Tiki Sangmo and today I'm joining in this series of blogging. I currently work as an English producer at the BBS and um, today I'll be taking you along with me uh, for this very interesting idea of cleaning and jogging which is called as plogging. So we are here at Sanjegang where a lot of people go for walking, you know, for their hiking, for jogging. So I thought that it would be a very, it would be a very perfect, it would be a perfect place to uh, do this series of plogging. By the way, this is my first time plogging but uh, with an initiative, uh, I volunteer with a movement called Green Feet Movement where I do hike and I do clean. So this is kind of similar to that but at the same time, today it's a little different because normally I'm a hiker but today I'm going to try my best to jog but before we head out I'm going to show you what I carry with me so this is my water bottle and it has water in it because it's very important to keep hydrated when you are doing any sort of exercises a cap if, I, if, if it gets too hot then nothing is better than a cap then in my bag there's a small backpack I have my mask, very important when you go to public places or wherever you go. Then I do have my gloves because we have to do a lot of cleaning. We are picking up trashes when, as we go, so I have my gloves. And this is a habit that I got from Green Feet Movement, so now it has become a habit. And wherever I go, I have a small uh, trash bag and uh, gloves with me. And I do have a little, my lip moisturizer and a resistant band if I want to work out. So that's it for now. We'll now start off our plogging. And this is my trash bin. Follow me along this journey of cleaning and jogging. Vlogging first started um, in Sweden uh, in 2016 and it has been popular since then and I think that if this kind of activity happens around the uh, world then people don't have to worry about climate change or preservation of environment or any uh, anything to do with environment so I think that it was a very beautiful idea and this idea of blogging here in Bhutan is getting really popular and I'm very happy to be a part of it uh, now I'll get back to cleaning because I can see a lot of trashes here I may not be, you know, be able to clean all of this, but I think that if we join our hands together, if everybody can come together and uh, try to, you know, pick up the little trashes that they can see or, you know, take away the trashes that they um, take, then I think that um, the environment will be cleaner and, you know, we all enjoy a clean, healthy space, right? So why not do that by cleaning, um, taking back the trashes that we take along with us when we are going to places or enjoying or having fun. So that's a thought. I know a resting place up there, so I'm going to take you to the resting place now. So my, my family would be considered as a big family. We are a family of eight. I do have two elder brothers and three younger sisters. And I happen to be the eldest of the sisters. I, as a kid, was a very shy and um, very in, I was very introverted. And in a way, um, whenever there was a school speech or whenever there were some cultural performances, I used to keep myself very reserved. And I think that, you know, being a kid and not being confident played a huge role when growing up because I 
I kept myself reserved from trying new things and experiencing new things. But now, as I grow up, I feel like, you know, those experiences, if you don't try it out, you'll never know what you're good and bad at. And also, uh, I feel that, you know, if you're not experiencing things, if you're not trying out things, you'll never, uh, you'll never learn what you're capable of. Even before starting, if you label yourself as a failure, I think that uh, that is one thing that I battled with personally because I as a kid was very shy and growing up I had to uh, do a lot of things that had to do with confidence and I really struggled with that. When I think about self-confidence, the friends in my circle felt that I was very open and I was very fun but at the same time, I feel that a lot of people struggle with that. Even though they are happy and they show themselves to be happy outside, I feel very anxious when I come in front of a, uh, of a crowd and I try to mingle and make new friends. That battle between my self-confidence and try wanting to do more, uh, Wanting to do more made me realize that I, I need to get out there. I need to uh, do fun things. So that's how I feel about self-confidence and I'm still working towards it, but we'll never, um, I just want to say that we'll never get there if you don't really actually take the first step. Yeah, that's what I feel when I think of self-confidence and my childhood as a very shy kid. I can see a trail there. I think this is the famous Takin trail that people are talking about. Let's check it out. But I, I see a pathway, so along the way we'll just pick the trashes because we are here to do that. Let's see. I hope I don't fall. Oh, I can see a stream down there. It's so pretty. It was sunny right at the road, but now I can feel the sheet and I, I can feel the nature. I can smell the nature, but sadly, I can see a trash there. It's right next to a beautiful stream and you get to see the trash right when you enter. That's not a good thing. FYI, for your information, I'm taking this trail for the first time and I'm worried that it's very steep and I might fall, but I'm going to try my best to keep my balance and walk. So I think I have to take this temporary bridge. I hope that it's sturdy enough to hold me and then let me cross it. Ooh, I hope I don't fall. I finally made it. I thought I was going to fall in the water, but I made it. And what I see, a trash again. But it's okay, we all can take one step at a time and we can all clean it when you're walking. So it's okay, today I'll be doing it, but next time just carry the small bag like me and then whenever you see a small trash, you just pick it. So I think that if one person can do it, everybody can. Let's continue now. It's a basic human gesture to take care of our own trash. We only have one earth and one environment and if we're not taking care of our environment, then who will? I think that it's in the small ways, if you, you do not have to go an extra mile to uh, come cleaning or go into the hiking trails and clean, 
but you can just as an individual what you can just do is whenever you go for a hike or whenever you go for a jog or even for that matter if you're going for a picnic if you can take care of your own trash i think that will be making a huge difference to our environment our mother earth and what's better than you know presenting our future generations with the beautiful nature and environment that we get to see and explore because 50 years down the lane we don't want to give our generations a, a textbook or a picture to look at the nature whereas they can experience it if we take care of our earth right now. What uh, changes I have made as an adult? Um, I think that, you know, I have grown older and I have grown taller, as you can see. <laughs> Jokes apart, I think that, you know, um, I am a whole new different person. I have new hobbies, I have new experiences. And with the job that I am doing, I think that I have grown to be a more confident person because I have to deal with a lot of different people with my work specifically I have to deal with small kids I have to deal with adults so I think that my self-confidence has uh, grown a lot more than when I was a kid because I like I told earlier I was a very shy kid and now that I have uh, grown up there comes a lot of responsibility so uh, before when I was a kid, I used to overthink and whenever people said things to me, I used to take it at heart. But now I think that I process the, that all those negativity in a positive way and see what I can do better to make myself better and be better in front of other companies. So I think uh, being an adult, um, I have grown to do that. Signboard there. Notice the stream area from Takin Reserve to Sanjigan Bridge is adopted by Royal Tourism. Please do not wash your vehicle along the stream. Thank you, be a responsible citizen. This one, we really have to do that. Be a responsible citizen. Do you want to know what a walk in the nature do to you? I was sweaty and I was panting heavy when I was on the road, but right when I entered the nature, you see, I don't have any sweat right now. I feel refreshed. I am connecting with the nature. I'm smelling the flowers. And I think overall, it's a very refreshing, happy feeling. It's, it's my happy space right now. Um, my free time would consist of me reading a book, just chilling on my bed, watching movies, um, taking care of my plants and flowers. Before I used to have a lot of cats, I used to take care of that, but now sadly I don't have any. So uh, now most of my free time, I have started to work out regularly. Uh, at the end of 2017 or maybe at the beginning of 2018, I um, felt that I was physically unfit and that resulted in me being mentally unfit also so I slowly and gradually first I started with just simply jumping a uh, rope and then now I have gotten to a space where you know it has become a lifestyle so uh, I think that one of the major things that have changed in my life when I what I do like to do when I'm uh, free is to work out and I don't say that you know um, being fat is like you know bad or being skinny is bad I don't say that you know if you want to make a small change in your life for me personally I was feeling so unmotivated I wasn't feeling I, I felt that I was struggling with my relationships I felt that I was 
not giving uh, my family, my friends time. I was not very uh, happy. So I gradually started with that. And now I feel that, you know, working out made me feel like right after the workout, I feel so refreshed that I am more, I have more energy and I like, you know, uh, I have more energy to do more things. So that's uh, some things that I'm, uh, I do for my hobby. Right now, um, I am trying to solve a puzzle. It's called the world's tiniest puzzle. So that's a thing that I'm doing at home. I do not know. It's, it's taking a while because, you know, the puzzle pieces are very small and I have to join all the lines. But at the same time, I'll get there. Someday I'll get there. So that's basically who I am when I'm not working or in front of the camera. I am just like any other person. I like chilling in the bed watching movies, doing nothing, drinking my coffee, enjoying the nature. And yeah, over the weekends, I do a thing. Uh, it has become a habit now. Uh, I, I have started volunteering with a group called Green Feet Movement, where we go take the common hiking trails. We bring in people who enjoy the nature and then uh, we go on hiking trails and we do what we call as cleaning. So that's what I do. But uh, I'll talk about Green Feet Movement in a bit because I really need to rest now. I really need to sit down and maybe look at the nature. And um, while resting, I'll tell you more about Green Feet Movement. One thing that I forgot to talk about when I was talking about my hobbies was I enjoy taking pictures. I, I, ha I do take a lot of pictures of the nature and I do take a lot of pictures of the food that I eat and also most of my uh, pictures in my feed is the picture of the nature. This is so pretty. Well, I can see a resting space here. I'm really tired now. So we'll just take a short rest here. Before it rains, the thunder has been rumbling a lot. But anyways, so I actually mentioned about the green feed movement, right? So oh, during the weekends when I'm not working, I volunteer for a movement called the green feed movement. And it goes with the slogan, common tag of heal the earth as you walk. So. I think that this show is also very interesting because we are jogging as we're cleaning and um, for the Green Feet movement I volunteer there and we do take common hiking trails and uh, we just clean along the way. So I have been to maybe four or five of those uh, movements and it's a very, I stumbled upon the um, Green Feet movement when I was going through the social media account and I really like the idea because I, as a person, love hiking and, you know, their common agenda is to walk the common trails, take the trails and clean them. So with the hikers, I do like, you know, it's like me, uh, meeting new people, making new friends. So and we are doing a good thing that is cleaning. And just like that, our country is surrounded by mountains. So, uh, you know, as a, a keen, um, hiker, I felt that 
um, joining the Green Feet Movement, volunteering for the Green Feet Movement would be really nice for me and uh, um, it would be making new friends and spending my weekend. So that's uh, what I do over the weekend with the Green Feet Movement. I know that my life has, uh, is not very interesting and I, uh, I wonder if this is going to be interesting but at the same time one of the things that I normally do when I'm out in the nature and especially today the weather is so nice you know we are right next to a stream and when I wake up in the morning I like to start off my day with a short meditation so I'm just uh, thinking that maybe why not take a short meditation here. So that was a short five minutes uh, meditation. I think that you can do it anywhere you are. When you are when you wake up, you can do this, or when you are when you get home from your work tired, you can just um, meditate. Do this short meditation to de-stress. So that was a very good peaceful break for me because I was concentrating, and then I was listening to the sounds of the birds. I was listening to the sounds of the stream. So it just made me feel really calm and composed and I think that that's very important to you know bring yourself together and then think of what happened in your day so that's a very good thing so I hope that you know you also try to do this this is a small thing that I normally like you know usually like to do when I'm at home and I don't have to do anything so that was a good break now let's get moving. I think we're getting to the starting point again. That was a very nice break for me. Now I'll come along because the thunder was rumbling, so I hope that it does not rain. If I can have a superpower, then I think it would be teleportation because that way I'll be able to go travel to a lot of places, see a lot of places and then you know the idea of vlogging and you know hiking up in the mountains, enjoying the nature, I think I'll be able to do that more not just here in Bhutan but you know uh, in the I can explore the beautiful places elsewhere so that would be one, the teleportation of uh, uh, the superpower that I would like to have Well, I can see the road from here. I think we are almost at the end of this trek. We are almost at the end of this hike. Oh wow! This is my first time and uh, definitely it's not going to be the last one. And I'm really happy that there's not a lot of trashes. I thought that there would be a lot of trashes but that's a very good thing. That's a very good thing. I, I really hope that, you know, just like this trail, everybody takes care of where, the places wherever they go. If every individual takes their own responsibility of their trash, I think every place can be like this trail. Clean and green. So we made it through the trail. I really enjoyed it. So. So I'm really thankful for the guide, guide station of Bhutan for taking care of this trail and maintaining it. I did really enjoy this trail and it's very clean and well kept. I really hope that people who you know haven't explored this trail would get an experience that I got today and they would but at the same time if you like take your own responsibility of your own trash then I think this trail would last for a long 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 time and our future generations would be able to enjoy and experience what i experienced today i hope that i did a great job i did a good job in showing you the trail and uh this is the final collection 
the trash that I collected today, it's not too much because, you know, the trail was well kept. But at the same time, I think that we can do better. And hopefully next time when I come through this trail, I think that I'll find lesser tra uh, trash than uh, this one, the, the one that I collected today. It was a humbling experience because I could do two things that I love the most, enjoying the nature and cleaning as I go. I think that, you know, from this experience, we can take a lot away because our we do have only one earth and if we are, as an individual, if we take our own responsibility, we'll be able to have a healthier, green and, you know, a very beautiful uh, environment. And I think that, um, not just me, there are a lot of people who actually go for hiking and you know, who actually go for jogging. So just a simple thing that you have to do is to carry a small bag with you and wherever you go, if you can pick up the small trashes, then I think that we have done our part and uh, we have, uh, we'll be able to give the mother nature what we take away from our mother nature because we do take a lot away from our um, nature. So why not give it back to them? So with that, I would like to thank everybody for joining me and I would also like to end by showing my hardworking crew.